We see broad-winged hawks here in Winnesheek County during spring and fall migration. Broad-winged hawks are smaller than a red-tailed hawk, and they have a black and white banded tail rather than a red tail. Uh, during the summertime, broad-winged hawks will be nesting up in northern Minnesota and Canada, and they winter anywhere from southern Mexico into South America. Uh, these broad-winged hawks uh, like to eat frogs and toads, but they'll also eat mice and uh, sometimes even uh, night crawlers or earthworms and uh, big grasshoppers that they find. But uh, be looking, oh, the broad-winged hawks, when they migrate, especially like in, uh, uh, in uh, fall migration, now you'll see these huge kettles way up in the air. They look like specks, but uh, maybe hundreds or even thousands of broad-winged hawks slowly rotating south through the sky. Really an amazing sight to see. In the last video, we looked at the northern corn rootworm, which is a little green beetle. This is the corn earworm, and it's a brownish tan moth. Uh, anyway, the corn earworm females lay their eggs on uh, corn silks in the summertime, and then the caterpillars chew up the developing corn kernels in uh, the corn ears. Because that's why it's called a corn earworm. Uh, when those caterpillars are mature, they pupate in the soil for a week or so and uh, then uh, develop into a, a new corn earworm moth. Uh, surprisingly, these corn earworm uh, moths, uh, while well, the, the caterpillars, moths, uh, pupa can't uh, survive Iowa's winter, so uh, the corn earworms fly, the moths fly north from southern states every year to reinfect our uh, huge corn crop here in Iowa. This frilly little hen of the woods mushroom might be the most highly prized find for mushroom foragers in the fall. Uh, look for the hen of the woods to be growing right at the base of the biggest, oldest oak trees out in the forest. And uh, the the hen of the woods, by the way, can be anywhere from the size of a cauliflower on up to the size of a bushel basket. So they can get big. Those big ones, put them in the refrigerator and you can feed your family for a whole week. Uh, anyway, uh, cut off those uh, little brown feathers there and uh, fry them up and they taste just about like uh, uh, kind of a, you might say, a, a, a chicken, chicken filet strip. But uh, the hen of the woods are out now in the fall, so be looking for them. Even though they are kind of big, they're hard to see because they blend in with all those uh, falling brown leaves.